hello everyone and welcome to the second or 22nd rather design challenge review and this time we had an interesting result for the uh, submissions I would say out of all the logo design challenges we've had I was most impressed with these results and I think that's probably because we restricted uh, you to using uh, nothing but perfect circular angles so the result while you know they were kind of similar the end result was better when you get a new or an aspiring designer 100% creative freedom. Uh, so anyhow, I'm going to go down here and just begin checking these out. Okay, so the first one we have from Mario. And this isn't uh, not bad. I like the fact that it's kind of a, a unique, almost perfect circular approach just seen right here. Now, when I initially saw this, I was like, oh, well, if you scale this down, that's going to get blurry. There's not enough white space. You know, you could perhaps take the stroke weight down, but then he resubmitted and we could see it's a bit better right here. Still probably might be a little bit of issues. Maybe just take down the stroke a bit, but overall, I like the execution of it uh, quite a bit. So thanks for that. Uh, so we have one from Mo Design Lab here. This one I'm not too much of a fan of at the top just because there's a tiny, like it's, it's less than one pixel stroke on the eyes and that's a little bit blurry. It's kind of like a no-no. Um, and we come down here, it's the front view. Uh, it's kind of, still kind of hard to tell what it is if you didn't know initially. Um, but nonetheless, you did stick to the circular grid approach, which is good. Coming down here, we have Dara and Looking at this, I so I see with the spiral thing. So that's would definitely fall within, you know, a circular approach. Um, and looking over here, uh, it's not bad. I'm not sure. It almost makes sense. It seems like these these two should be connected. Uh, but yeah, overall, I like the approach. Uh, definitely interesting in how you chose to show the grid right here. So thanks for that. And Somniac, uh, so they did this uh, design in... Archicad. I've never heard of it, but this is an architecture student. I uh, I like it definitely. This is a good result here for what we were trying to do. Uh, so I don't have anything negative to say essentially about it. Very good job. Oops, let me come back up here. All right, so another one from Mo Design Lab. Uh, this one I would say is a little bit better than the other ones for sure. And here's a different version of the one they submitted before. I. Uh, I would say definitely an improvement from the first entries for sure. All right, we have Mr. Peer. And this one, I wish we could have saw one maybe without the circular grid, but I, no big deal. I, I think I kind of blur my vision a little bit. I could see it without the red lines. And overall, I like it. Uh, definitely a unique kind of perspective angled approach on it, kind of like the other one up there too. I like that. Good job. And this person doesn't have any photo editing programs. Uh, well, that sucks, I guess. Uh, severe. Okay, so uh, let's say first attempt. All right. You know, overall, this is not bad. Looking at this, I, I'm not sure what this part is. Do they have like a nose part coming off or is it just the two antenna? I have no clue what this part is. But either way, I think I... Uh, you know, everything done here is pretty solid for sure. So thanks for that submission. Good job. Uh, coming down here, Bin W. Um, yeah, I think this definitely has potential for sure. But there are a couple issues. Uh, you know, the, the spiral or the, the circular shapes here, a little bit too small. Or way too small, rather, too thin. Uh, so if you were to scale it down, you would lose that. It would look blurry, of course. Um, but I like the, the general form of this and the shape. Not too certain about the, these uh, blues and greens in here. Uh, otherwise, I do like the general form of this for sure. So thanks for that. All right, so we have Marilyn. I, I'm not sure what's going on down here just because it seems separate from this guy. And in terms of you know thinking about like a logo, for instance, there's way too many lines here. Uh, it almost becomes, you know, you look at it and it feels like one of those uh, illusions, essentially. Um, so I would look at, you know, so to some of these other examples in terms of simplicity and try not to get too technical with everything you're trying to portray. Uh, thanks for the submission, anyhow.
This is just another version with the grid. All right, so just looking at this. All right. Yeah, that's it's definitely not bad. It's an interesting approach. I think the just a tad bit too bright on that hue right there. Um, and some of these are just a little bit too thin, you know, as, as I mentioned from one of the other entries. Uh, if we thicken this up quite a bit, actually, I think it would work pretty well. Uh, and maybe just make a black version just so we could see a little bit better. But uh, either way, it's definitely a unique perspective and an approach at this. So it is great, great, ah, creative. So thanks for the entry. <laughs> this one initially, I had no idea what was going on because I couldn't see it, the form, because it kind of looked like a big nose was hanging out here and this mouth with teeth and stuff. But then I realized, you know, this is the negative space. This is a space between the eyes and it's kind of just bending over. Very interesting. Probably the most creative uh, submission that we have here. So I like that. Good job for sure. All right. Uh, coming down here, Ibrahim. I think that's how you pronounce that. Uh, so yeah, I'm not sure I if I like this too much. I just, we have this circular part in proportion here, but I'm not sure if that's really the actual shape of a snail head because it kind of just ends here and we have like a sharp angle right there. I think another thing that's throwing it off for me is the uh, the stroke right here. This very thin one pixel, two pixel stroke that's going around every single line. I would get rid of that entirely because it just adds clutter. And I would also get rid of this as a whole as well right here, just so we could focus on the shape itself. Uh, having said that, you stuck to the circular grid approach, which is good. Uh, so thanks for the submission. That one looks like a slightly angled approach. And here's another one by Capez. So this isn't bad. I'd probably get rid of the, the shadow right here just because it's unnecessary. Um, but looking at the grid construction, everything's done well. And yeah, I think that the colors kind of conflict with each other. Um, so I think if you changed one of them to something else that goes a little bit better, it would be a little bit more ideal. But the shape itself is good. All right. So when it comes to uh, this one, I'd say the, the, the gradients are kind of throwing it off a little bit. Um, plus, if you divided the objects, you can kind of see... Um, the little tiny pixels in between the individual lines. And that's something that you can run into sometimes uh, when you do it that certain way. Um, and then there's a tiny gradient coming right here. That's just kind of throwing it off as well, in my opinion. Uh, but the shape's not bad in and of itself. All right, and then Ibrahim. I, I like this one. I know you submitted a couple other ones previously that we looked at already. Uh, I like this one the most, I think, uh, out of your submission. So this is definitely an improvement. I uh, and this one is amazing. Like, I've never seen an, a submission this good in my entire life. Uh, oh wait, that's me. Yeah, I decided to submit one just for the hell of it, for the fun of it. I found that when I tried filling this in with color, I did not like it, but I did like just the stroked variation. But anyhow, uh, hopefully you guys found that to be a fun sort of challenge. Um, we'll go ahead. And for design challenge number 23, you guys can throw out some ideas. I think I, you know, these type of simple slash um, visual identity slash logo design challenges are something you guys like a lot. Uh, so I'll try to think of something and you guys can throw out ideas if you wish. And I uh, also, I'm just about finished with a course. It's going to be a paid course. I'm getting rid of design course premium. I'm going to cancel that for a while at least. And I'm going to be just selling premium video courses. Uh, uh, they're project-based. So the first one's going to be on responsive web design using foundation, the front-end framework. And it'll be taking you from the mock-up design in Photoshop all the way to the final HTML and CSS and show you some interesting front-end techniques. So look out for that uh, within the next week or two. And it's not going to be expensive at all. Anyhow, that's it. So if you haven't yet, uh, check out designcourse.com and subscribe here on YouTube. All right, goodbye.